Salutations friends and strangers of the interwebs. Welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel, if this is your first time. I am said Stevie. Today, we are looking at the Bridgeport Knives Company prototype of the 395. This is a knife that uh, was provided by a Bridgeport Knife Company. And it was actually handed off to me from Casey, uh, Knives Fast, uh, at Blade Show. I'm next on the path of travel. And, yeah, uh, I didn't really know anything about this uh, until um, I was told that I was next on the path of travel. And uh, before I get into uh, all the specs and everything, um, i just like to say that uh, this thing is, uh, I, I'm really digging it. Uh, this is very much, I think it's going to get compared a lot to uh, the Asher Knives Spiro, uh, uh, the whole Spiro, which I wish I had it here to compare it to, but I lost that, if you don't know, um, on the road trip. But, yeah, so this is a knife that, um, this is the very first uh, go uh, round uh, by Bridgeport uh, Knife Company. Like I said, this is the 395. Uh, this is being made by uh, Kubi. Kube, Kubi, Kube. You know, I love me some uh, Kubi. But uh, Bridgeport Knife Company is uh, just one person. Uh, ran in uh, Southern California uh, out of uh, Bridgeport, uh, California. Ironically, while I was driving uh, home... I did a story on Instagram and was on 395, uh, Highway 395, Interstate 395, coming through California, and he picked that up, and he noticed it, and he said, hey, um, you don't happen to be uh, in Bridgeport on 395, do you? I said, I do, actually. So uh, that was pretty cool that uh, he noticed that, but, um, so yeah, uh, this says Bridgeport, uh, um, knife company intends to produce functional and attractive designed knives that provide great value. Uh, the 395 is the first design in my line and is made by Kubi, uh, out of China. And, yeah, uh, he's looking for feedback. Um, it says, feel free to use this and disassemble it. Uh, I don't think I need to do that, but, um, some of the specs here, uh, the prototype here is... Uh, in D2 steel, the production will be 14C28N. This is currently a flat grind, but they are going to be working towards a hollow grind on uh, the production version. It does have stainless steel liners. That is a milled, uh, 3D milled titanium clip. And I got to say, uh, this has gone in and out of pocket just fine. Um, that's about a three inch uh, blade length on there, uh, four inch on the handle, and um, blade stock is uh, 2.8 millimeters, stone wash uh, blade, obviously, and uh, blasted uh, hardware. Um, my first thought of this knife was it's kind of perfect size uh, for an EDC knife. Um, you know, it's a great secondary uh, uh, size knife. I think anything, you know, kind of that 3.25 uh, inch uh, and below is makes a really good secondary. And it is a smaller knife for sure. With this choil though, I can get a really good, you can see, I get a full four. If I'm all the way back here, I end up getting a little uh, hanging off, but it's still very comfortable in hand. Now, the first thing I notice, um, always and this is already going to be addressed is the jimping i always say you'll always hear me say if you're going to give me jimping give me good jimping the length of the you know i i, I don't want jimping back here if i'm going to be choked up i want you know jimping all the way forward that's one of the things that's going to be addressed on the production run they're going to uh, extend uh, the jimping um but uh very very good ergonomics um uh, the, that choil right there gives you a really good purchase on it. Uh, I like that this is not a frame lock. I like that this is a liner lock. I'm starting to really gravitate towards liner locks uh, more than 
frame locks and you got really, really good access. I think they nailed that um, to the liner. And then the action on this thing is drop to the nail, boom, shake shut. Uh, it's only got the slot for deployment and the detent seems to be dialed perfectly for it. It's, I mean, it's, it's extremely snappy. I, it's, you can't really fail it. I mean, this is as lazy as I would ever try. And, you know, barely giving it any, any at all. Okay, there I failed it. If you try to fail it, you can fail it. But I, I'd say that this, this has a really good detent on it, in my opinion. Um, something, uh, the other thing that's going to be addressed is uh, some blade play. I guess there is a little bit there. I haven't tried to tighten down this hardware at all, so I don't exactly know what that's all about. But, um, yeah, uh, I, I guess they're going to do something with that. I don't know how you fix that um, other than maybe some thicker bearings or something. I don't know. Uh, the other thing, uh, the plunge grind is going to be pulled back slightly. And uh, a series of letters and numbers will be added to the inside of the liners that describe the model and the blade steel, as well as the particular run of the knife. Uh, they said the clip is going to have uh, uh, increased uh, retention, which I think that the... Uh, uh, I, I like the, the, the clip on it. Uh, they are shooting for T10 with a flush, non-tooled uh, show side. So um, that'll be cool. Uh, so you'll just have a regular pivot there, and then a, a T10 there. Uh, it is reversible, uh, pocket clip on there. Uh, if I had one little uh, gripe, I'd like to see a filler tab on there, and I don't see that. Nope, I don't see that as being uh, something that they're going to change. So you do just have that open uh, notch there uh, on the show side, which eh, you know. It's not the end of the world. It wouldn't prevent me from getting it. I'd like to see a uh, filler tab in there, though. Uh, similar kind of to what Asher does. But yeah, um, again, uh, this is a great, great, great first uh, first uh, impression of this knife. So, um, this knife will be um, in two different variants uh, coming up for pre-order here. Uh, probably pretty soon, because it says mid-June. But uh, both options are going to have a 14C 28N stonewash blade and stonewash scales. So you're going, the knife is going to basically look like that. Um, you are also going to have a, uh, let's see, price of pre-orders will be... There is going to be a black um, hardware available on these as well. I believe that's what it said pause yeah okay so uh there are going to be two options available for pre-order uh blasted hardware clip and uh, uh black coated and black coated hardware and clip uh, both options will be in 14c 28n i uh mentioned that uh the pre-order for this uh here's the awesome part 118 bucks uh is what the pre-order is going to be after that, uh, it's going to be $128 uh, after the pre-order. Um, it doesn't say when these will end up shipping, but I got to say, um, a titanium 14C 20N uh, blade in this, what you know, this offering here, I'd say $118 is a pretty good deal, uh, honestly. Um, yeah. I, I, I think that, uh, the, I forget how much the Asher Spiro was. I think it was right around the same amount. And is it better or worse than the Spiro? I don't know. Um, I'm not going to say it's one way or the other. It's just another great uh, offering, though, from someone that is, uh, you know, small maker. Bridgeport Knife Company. The 395 prototype. I don't know what else to say about this. Um, I'm going to spend a couple more days with it. I might do one more final uh, video on it before I uh, send it along. Looks like uh, on the path of travel, uh, oh, it'll be staying here in the Pack Northwest. It's going to Big Red EDC next. 
but um, let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, you know, I think it's a fabulous uh, looking, aesthetically pleasing knife. You know, uh, nothing over the top, kind of plain Jane, but I kind of like plain Jane. You know, this is something that uh, you can start experimenting around with your own anodizing on this, or you can send it out to whoever's uh, your favorite uh, anodizer is. There's a lot of good guys uh, in the community right now. Um, I would probably sending this down, if, once I get mine, I'd send it down to uh, John, uh, Knife Nerd Reviews, who's killing it with his anno as of late. But uh, there's, a, there's a lot of people doing a lot of cool stuff out there. So I think getting a uh, plain Jane knife like this and being able to either experiment around with it on your own or send it to someone off and, you know, customizing it, making your own is a, is a great way to go. So, yeah, what do you guys think? Um, 14C, 28N, titanium, liner lock, 118 bucks. I think that's a pretty... Uh, I, I can get down with that. So... Uh, appreciate uh, the opportunity to uh, check this out. Uh, you'll have a link to Bridgeport Knife Company's uh, Instagram. I don't know if there is a website yet. There's not one listed, but he's definitely on Instagram. So I'll leave that link there. And yeah, that's all I got. So until the next one, uh, I will talk to everyone later. Adeuces!